Hello everyone, my name is Tomasz and this is your weekly portion of carefully selected photography news. It seems that you are enjoying this new segment, so please do click on this tiny like button below to help us spread the word about it. Let's dive straight into this week's most significant photography stories. See Ansel Adams as you have never have before at the De Young Museum this spring. According to Afar.com, the legendary photographer returns home to the museum that first displayed his work uh, in a landmark exhibition that also features contemporary artists. From April 8 to July 23rd, visitors to the De Young Museum of San Francisco uh, will be able to view more than 100 pieces by Adams as well as those of 23 contemporary artists who are inspired by the same landscape and environmental issues as the legendary photographer at Ansel Adams in our time. The exhibition is organized by the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston in partnership with the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco which both put on their own Ansel Adams exhibits in previous years and it's enhanced by several pieces from the De Young's permanent collection. Kwame Bradway, influential photographer who proclaimed black is beautiful, dies at 85. According to artnews.com, Kwame Bradway, a photographer and activist whose stylish images forced many to see black beauty and new, inspiring generations of artists who came after him, died at 85. His son, Kwame Bradwaite Jr., shared news of Bradwaite's death on social media last Sunday. While Bradwaite's work has only recently attained mainstream recognition in the form of museum retrospectives and monographs, his photography has acted for many decades as a guiding force to many. It has appeared in publications and on album covers and has been credited with ushering in new forms of representation, particularly of black women. Powerful winners of Bears Photography Contest celebrate the emotions of childbirth. Jessica Stewart at MyModernMed.com writes, Bringing a new life into the world is one of the most powerful human experiences. And thanks to birth photographers, families are able to have a record of these moments. This unique category of photography requires professionals who are able to capture these intimate moments and the wide range of emotions that come with them. Thanks to the International Association of Professional Birth Photographers, families have access to birth photographers from around the world. Their annual birth photography image competition is a way to show off their work which honors the beauty and emotion of childbirth. Now in its 13th year, the competition is open to the 1,100 members of IAPBP from 52 countries. Sigma makes its Nikon Z debut. According to Digital Camera World, the wait is finally over. Sigma has released its first ever lenses for the Nikon Z mount in the form of three super fast primes in its contemporary range. The Sigma 60mm, 30mm and 56mm f1.4 DCDN contemporary lenses are designed for APS-C bodies like the Nikon Z FC, Nikon Z50 and Nikon Z30, where they enjoy effective focal lengths of 24, 45 and 84 mm respectively. This makes them a useful trio that uh, gives Nikon Z shooters access to a wide-angle lens for landscapes and street photography, an all-purpose Nifty 50 equivalent and a fast portrait lens. This photography news roundup is brought to you by Frames Magazine and the Frames Photography app. Tattooed 106-year-old becomes Vogue's oldest ever cover model. According to Petapixel, a 106-year-old tattoo artist from the Philippines has become Vogue's oldest ever cover star. 
Apo Wang Od is a Mambabatok, traditional tattoo artist, who inks people using a sharp bamboo stick and charcoal suit. Wang Od is thought to be the last and oldest Mambabatok in the Philippines. She began tattooing headhunters and indigenous people when she was 15 years old. Uh, now she tattoos tourists who visit her in the mountainous village of Buscalan, where she lives. Heralded as the last Mambabatok of her generation, she has imprinted the symbols of the Kalinga tribe, signifying strength, bravery and beauty, on the skin of thousands of people who have made the pilgrimage to Buscalan, writes Vogue Philippines on Instagram. The Canon EOS R5 now shoots 400 megapixel images. According to F-stoppers, Canon EOS R5 users can now shoot images at a whopping 400 megapixels. Recently, rumors emerged that Canon would release a firmware update for the popular EOS R5 that would allow it to shoot 400 megapixel images. Last Thursday, the company has released firmware 1.8.1 and sure enough, it brings with it a new feature called IBIS High Resolution, the first time a Canon camera has offered this capability. This feature leverages the sensor's ability to shift by small amounts for image stabilization purposes to produce ultra-high resolution images by stitching multiple exposures together. Why did the photographer bring a ladder to the photoshoot? Because he wanted to take his photography to a higher level. Did you know that the company name of Canon is actually derived from the Buddhist goddess of mercy, Kuanon? Canon's connection to Kuanon dates back to the company's early years, when its founder Takeshi Mitarai was searching for a name for his first camera prototype. Mitarai was inspired by Kuanon's compassion and believed that a camera could help people capture and share the beauty of the world around them. The name Kuanon was chosen as a symbol of the company's commitment to empathy and understanding, and it has since become a beloved icon of the Canon brand. Let's finish today's news segment with a wonderful portrait photograph called Girl from Bangladesh by Mo Aisha Siddika, who shared it in the Frames Magazine Facebook photographer group. Have a wonderful week, everyone.